Here I am in the Caribbean, and this is actually um, uh, the Orient Beach in Saint-Martin. On this side of the island, it's called Saint-Martin. And um, on this side is the nude beach, on that side is the uh, clothing beach. I'll let you decide which beach that I actually went to. Uh, it's marvelous, wh whichever side you go to. It's interesting when I see something like this, because it makes me think in the workplace of people sometimes think that when a woman is dressing provocatively, or what, or what a man might think is if provocative, um, that somehow that means that she deserves to get you know, whistles or to get comments about her clothing. And she doesn't deserve that at all. Just because you think it's provocative or you think something might be sexual, um, that doesn't necessarily mean that in fact it is. And it also doesn't mean that a person should be getting any kind of negative attention. If in fact you've got someone coming to the workplace who's actually naked, um, that still is no excuse to harass them. It's the excuse to send them home and tell them to put on clothing, but it's no excuse for people to actually harass anyone. And that goes that goes true for any other clothing. If it's inappropriate for the workplace, fine, then you tell the person to change. But under no circumstances, regarding, regardless of what anyone is wearing, that no one should have to put up with un inappropriate or unwelcome comments in the workplace about what they're wearing. So don't get that confused when you think about um, you know what people are allowed to wear in the workplace. If you're interested in finding out more information on these and other issues, go to my website stephenhammond.ca, that's Stephen with a PH. Also you can go to my resource store and that is the humanrightstrainingstore.com, humanrightstrainingstore.com. Hopefully you get an opportunity to uh, come down to the Caribbean and visit the Saint Martin.